I think it's a tragedy that we and created an incentive, obviously, for this to happen by confused policies coming out, unfortunately, out of the Obama administration. So we created a false belief that's mo motivating these people to risk their lives to get here. So it seems like immigration's come to a fevered pitch in our country, but also in my state, California. Uh, Marietta is dominating the news cycles. You know, are you seeing momentum on the immigration front? What are your insights? Well, Cato, my organization is a libertarian organization, and we believe in relatively open immigration in the sense that this country was built by immigrants. The net-net economic benefit of immigrants has been huge, but you need a rational policy. And one of the things we've done, we make it so hard to immigrate and then go back and come back and forth, we've, we've kind of created a false set of incentives. So we think people should be able to come to the United States relatively easily to work. Then over a long period of time, they would have the potential to earn the right to be citizens. And what is that? When you say the right to be citizens, that's the right to vote, the right, you know, to access In, to... Initially, they don't get access to the welfare system sure. because if you're, you're going to create a huge... What's happening now, of course, we've got this massive incentive because of our welfare system to attract people that are, may or may not be productive. And, 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 and so you can come to work, but you don't get the benefits of the welfare citizen uh, system until you've been here a long time, and then you can earn the right to be a citizen, and then you can be into the welfare system. But at that point, you, will, you probably won't need it very much. <laughs> what do you see, what about the human side of this, this whole debate? You know, you're seeing a lot of kids coming over unaccompanied from uh, other countries. Um, some, you know, the, there's a lot of hyperbole on, on all sides of it. You know, you know, how do you, how do you, if you're the president or your Congress, how do you deal with it without you know, the vitriol that we're seeing in, in the current debate. Well, I, I think it's a tragedy that we and created an incentive, obviously, for this to happen by confused policies coming out, unfortunately, out of the Obama administration. So we created a false belief that's mo motivating these people to risk their lives to get here. Uh, what you do with the children that are here is tricky because if you don't send them back, you're going you're gonna to send a huge inflow of children that can't take care of themselves, and and it's a big world. <laughs> so yeah, you, you need a plan, you need a process, and again, we're for relatively open immigration, but not bringing children in without their parents. Sure. That's not healthy for anybody, and it's going to have bad bad outcomes. And I, I think that's a lack of leadership by not having a clear clear statement about what the plan is, even and given the rules we have today. You, you can't say, well, I'd like for the rules to be different, and therefore I'm going to fool with the rules, <laughs> even and, and, though I don't have the authority to fool with the and, rules, and then say, well, I didn't mean to fool with the rules. Sure. <laughs> and the solution now that the president's asking for, I'd love to get your thoughts on it. He's asking for, what, $3.7 billion or $3 billion, some odd billion dollars, uh, for the border crisis. I mean, what, what, what does that really accomplish outside of... I, I can't figure out what he's actually... I mean, it's not money here. It's the ideas that we've communicated <laughs> that, that are driving this stuff. So certainly, if it takes some more money, but I mean, there's like 25,000 border agents. So. Sure. Uh, it's, I don't think it's a money crisis. I think it's a crisis of leadership and that people have gotten a mixed message about what the rules are. You really need rule of law. I'd really have bad laws and no law, amb you know, ambiguity creates this kind of, this kind of stuff and, and the president shouldn't go around saying I'm going to change the law when they can't change the law. <laughs> Their job is to enforce the law even if they don't like it. That's, that's the way the, the, the country was designed to work and I think that's what's created this mess failed leadership.